Yeah, here. Alright. Cool. Running through how someone gets a Pell Grant. Okay. So, this program is currently offered to citizens. There's a universal application, right? A Pell Grant. Do you choose to apply? Yeah, it's, you choose to apply. It's voluntary, but my event, my solvency, my, my so solvency after it's, it's a voluntary program. So you right. feel out the program is available. But I don't. But the point of my solving is not because they're forced. It's just because they get the opportunity, right, to receive these Pell Grants. Sure. I'm sure that most prisoners would take up that opportunity if they had the chance. I would right? agree. In fact, I would say that. Okay, sure. That's true. So let's just talk right. about this the is framework. a good idea. Sure. What does it mean for something to be universal? All right, for something to be universal, it has to apply in all potential circumstances, like a all general potential rule. circumstances. Right. That so wouldn't what is the rule of consequentials? What is the rule of U2? Uh, that we should minimize suffering. That suffering, what is suffering, like pain, like a what negative, like an emo a negative emotion in reaction to some sort of like. Could you give an example of something that causes you pain? Something that causes me pain? Well, losing this round would certainly cost me a lot. Of pain. Right, that's kind of funny because if you were to lose this round, it would cause me a lot of pleasure. So is losing the round objectively good? Well, we would have bad? to weigh that, right? <laughs> sure. Like, so you mean like dropping. Like, wait, wait, hold on, Adam. So how do we weigh between you feeling the you know negative effects of losing the round and me feeling a lot of happiness from winning? I'd like you to lose too, right? Like, obviously, I like you. You're my friend. I mean, my advantages prove that it's possible that we can act. Wait, wait, wait. So give me an example of that. That specific example. How do we weigh between your lack of happiness and my happiness? Okay, so dropping me leads to East Asian nuclear war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually serious. Give me, give me a way to how we do it. Okay, so we calculate like the strength of the pain. Okay. How do we calculate the strength of the pain? It would be like, ow, versus ow. <laughs> so right? that's how we calculate But more importantly, like, my advantage is like calculate yeah, the number no, no, of no, lives I'm talking about that specific example. You losing the round versus me winning the round. So oh, we're just talking about that? Okay, yeah, sure. So, I mean, I don't think the ow versus ow. <laughs> the entire part of the AC. So, uh, so how do you assign a number to compare between the two different sets? Uh, based on death count, like the AC. Wait, wait, you know, neither of us dies. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking about this, okay. So, we can assign a number. Unless you're going to do some, like, Hari Kiri thing. I, <laughs> no. I'm not going to kill you. Okay. So, I wouldn't know exactly how to answer the question of whether or how we weigh, like, our specific, right? Like, uh, I weigh my advantage. Wait, so how is util a universal rule if we can't even apply in this situation? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we have to take into account you know, everyone's interests. Everyone, that require, everyone's that interests. That would require maximizing. How do we determine, wait, wait, okay, I understand what we should maximize. How do we determine everyone's interests? Right. Your dad probably wants you to win the round, but my parents are both in the back, and there are two of them here. Well, we <laughs> have to compare the, the strength of the impact. The strength of the impact. So, right. For example, you, wait, wait. So how do you know how much my mom wants me to win the round? She might secretly be rooting for you. How do we tell? No, my, my, my dad. My dad needs all the all the poll cap that he can get to pass like key economic okay. reform. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Um, but all right. I hope he doesn't. Uh, Seriously, it's contextual to the AC. Death count. Taking it in ca into account everyone's interest. Just be very clear. This. Your universal rule is contextual to the AC. Right. Okay. Why is that obvious? Some people kill themselves. Why is death always bad? You can make death good arguments. I'm asking you where in the AC you justify that death is always bad. I mean, my impact evidence kind of emphasizes that. It like, emphasizes that, but what's the reason why death is always bad? Death precludes the ability to experience pleasure. Why? Why? Then why do people kill themselves? I mean, when people... Like, why do people kill themselves, Adam? I mean, people kill themselves because they just feel that, like, because the like, pain what? would outweigh, but that's contextual to their lives, right? There's always a risk that our life can be made better if we exist, right? My argument is that we can reconcile util with value to life. My argument is that we should make life as good as possible, right? Like people to kill themselves do so for their own personal reasons. The argument is just that death is an intuitive bad under my framework. So it's an, oh, so it's intuitive bad. So your framework is about intuitive decisions. No, it's, it's not like yeah. intuition is a meta ethic. It's like so. Then why is intuition morally relevant? I mean, it just like makes sense. Like death. Wait, okay, so it just so it the just logical makes warrant. Sense. The logical so your warrant, framework is that. Right, it makes sense. The logical warrant is death precludes happiness. Right. If we're alive, there's always going to be a risk that we can experience pleasure. My argument is that pleasure is a moral good. We can only experience pleasure. What is if we pleasure exist. again? Like a positive emotion that makes you feel good, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All 
are you aware that Rakowski is a deontologist and that the paragraph you cut is right before the paragraph where he goes into a rebut utilitarianism? No, I'm sorry. Reject the argument. <laughs> Can we cross it off the flow? Sure. Okay. We have a frivolous theory here. <laughs> what does Sam Record say? Sam Record says that happiness is objectively good and consistency requires we extend our own desire for happiness to others. Why? Why? What is consistency? Right? That would mean that we like apply our desire for happiness to each individual. Why do we have to do that? Okay. So when someone thinks that their happiness is good, like they implicitly assume that that happiness is like... Why? Why is that happiness objectively good versus subjectively good? They assume that it's like self-evident, like an egoist Wait, would assume... Wait, why is that? So it's about egoism? Well, no. It's so just can like, we assume, per your frame, that everyone is internally motivated and self-interested? I mean, people have self-interest, but consistency requires we extend our self-interest for happiness to others, right? Because when someone pursues their happiness, they implicitly assume that it is self-evidently good that they should be happy, right? Like, that is, like...